Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Val 33 Tarot, which is a brief view as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. <laughs> will it or won't it? Will it or won't it? It's almost like when. Um, ooh. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Sometimes it's almost like I kind of play around and joke a little bit, but then all of a sudden it's kind of like playing around leads to something else, and it's like... Oh, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Maybe this is a more serious situation than I thought. Um, oh, it can't be that serious if you're in that energy, Taurus. It can't be that serious, but you have your reasons. We'll see. We'll see how this one goes. I myself am curious. Um... curious um yeah i'm curious i'm very curious right away you are showing me the numbers two 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 so that is all about balance balance finding balance um things that flux fluctuate things that change shift okay hmm Goodness. Okay, jumping into this, Taurus. This is good. This is going to be a little bit of a, well, we might have to kind of dig with this one. Um, but jumping into this, what you do show me, you are strongly focused on your future and the plans for it. Now, that being said, I feel like there is this connection between you and someone that is a part of these plans. At the same time, I'm a little curious as to see how this is going to progress with the clarifiers, because what you're showing me, there is an energy here. I'm not too sure exactly what this is, whether it's addictions whether it's toxicity, whether it's a way of thinking, whether it's emotions, what this is, I don't know. But whatever is going on regarding your plans for the future and who you are with or involved with, excuse me, drink responsibly. Ultimately, what you're showing me is this is taking up quite a bit of your focus and time and energy to the point where you know you need to make a decision regarding everything and how things are progressing and moving forward, but you're actually choosing not to. You're saying that there is more here to kind of process, work through, and digest, as well as absorb and learn from. But here's the thing. You are showing me you're buying your time a little bit, but this is actually causing a little bit of more confusion that you're having to kind of work through and address, which in turn is leading to not making any types of changes or shifts. At the same time, again, there is this decision regarding commitment, whether it be between you and someone romantically or something financial that you're working on that you're also choosing not to make. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what we can find. Yeah, it's, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of like the same saying as everything's all fun and games until someone takes something seriously. Um, yeah, that that's what's fascinating is you're ultimately showing me Taurus here. <laughs> How do I say this? Um, it's a little bit of a balancing act. You're pulling off a balancing act here. There, there's some sort of. <clears throat> it's interesting. You're, you're kind of showing me um, either. Jeez, how do I say this? You're making plans for your future, but what's fascinating about this is it's, and I'm not too sure if this is energy of you're wanting things to be done with between you and someone romantically, or it's an energy of you're trying to, huh, geez. I feel like you're trying to create your future in a very specific type of way, but it, it, ultimately what you're showing me, if I'm being completely blunt and honest, you're actually unsure of how all this is going to turn out possibly between you and someone romantically. 
you're, you're kind of saying once something is completed, then what? And that's what I kind of feel like you're on the, you're actually on the fence about is, well, will this actually be done with and over with? And if so, what does that mean for what comes next? Yeah, I feel like there's definitely some sort of communication here between the two of you about this. Yeah, you guys are ha you guys are having the talk. You're having the talk. Um, it's interesting though because you're you're kind of undecided whether or not you want something to truly be over with or you want it to stay and remain open. That's fascinating. You're you're kind of like I'm not too sure how I want this to turn out, and I kind of feel like that's what's beginning to kind of like dig its way into your mind and your thought process. Um, it's definitely affecting you. It is. And I feel like in turn that is affecting who you are with. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, what? You, geez, 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 geez. The, yeah, this, this could quite possibly be addictions, Taurus. If I'm being honest, um, there's something here regarding though. Jeez, the, the past. It's either someone from the past or something from the past. And this is what's very fascinating is you're showing me this energy of you're not necessarily living in the past, but there's something about this energy and focus and intention that is connected to the past somehow. It's the equivalent of almost like saying, well, I have love for someone, but I'm not in love with them. We have a history. We have a record. But at the same time, it's like, well, I'm not too sure whether or not I like truly want to have a future with them. Um, I got love for them, but I don't know if it's that much love. I don't know if it's I'm in love with them. This is fascinating. I mean, that makes sense as to why there is this indecisiveness to how you're kind of moving and operating here. Yeah, it's very difficult. Oh, geez. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, you're ultimately saying I'm, jeez, you're showing me this mindset and this perspective of, um, how do I, what's that saying? I can't recall, but I, I can think of it, but I can't actually think of it word for word and who said it and it's there, but I, I can't. To entertain a thought without moving forward with it. This, what is it like the sign of intelligence or something is the ability to entertain a thought. Um, I think it was Albert Einstein. Maybe, I don't know. I might be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Never know. Um, but there's that consideration of like, not making that choice or that decision to just be single but I feel like at the same time, it's because, geez, you're trying to figure out how to best utilize your resources. So you're not making a decision regarding everything quite yet. You're trying to be smart with your money. But do you have thought about it? <laughs> what you're saying is, I've considered my options. I've considered which paths and routes I could take, but it's more so like in consideration and passing thoughts. Yeah, well, you're, yeah, you're, you're really buying your time here. You're ultimately saying, um, I need more time. I need more time to collect information, collect more data, figure out what I need to do, figure out where I'm at mentally, emotionally. I need more information. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I, I see what you're showing me. Aquarius, Aquarius showed me the very similar energy. Um, with who they were dealing with more specifically. It's like, I get it, I get it, I get it. At the same time, I don't get it. I get it, I get it, I get it to a certain point, but at the same time, it's like, mm, okay, you kind of lost me there. Um, yeah, you're trying to figure out what actions can be taken and what needs to be done, but at the same time, you're having to work through a lot of that confusion first about what it is you're becoming aware of, what it is you're finding out, what you truly want to do. And so that, that lets me know though, Taurus, is you have so many thoughts racing through your mind that it's almost like you're overwhelmed with the possibilities of where everything could go, how everything could turn out and where this is all going now. And that's why I kind of feel like there is this energy of like, 
I'm just collecting information and collecting data and I'm not making any changes. I'm not making any final decisions or any moves that big or <laughs> yet. Um, I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do first. <laughs> yeah, you're... You're just watching. You're what you're waiting and you're watching. You're waiting and you're watching. Like, yeah, I'm not budging. I'm I'm just kinda I got my feet planted at the same time. I'm I'm not moving forward quite yet. I need more information. You're wanting to find out so much here. Um and you're ultimately saying, I'm gonna keep an eye on myself, them, what's going on regarding my work and my finances, all at the same time and see how this all progresses. Yeah. Drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. Um, this is fascinating, Taurus. You're ultimately showing me. You're. How do I say this? Um, this may resonate for some, but not all. I, I kind of feel like there is an energy here of an open relationship. Uh, I think it's called polyamorous or something. I don't exactly know. Uh, Multiple people, not necessarily a love triangle, but definitely open to, you know, multiple people, multiple partners. Um, but ultimately what you're showing me here, Taurus, is you're choosing not to make any moves. You're choosing not to make any moves regarding commitment or dedication, whether it's to them romantically or whether it's to yourself financially with your work and your career. You're not making any moves. I feel like, yes, in a sense, you are making plans for the future, but you're ultimately telling me your plans for the future are not set in stone whether it's with someone else or whether it's even with yourself. That is quite fascinating. You're ultimately showing me, um, I'm just going to not make that decision and I'm going to choose to just kind of live my life and enjoy myself. And I'm like, okay, well, be responsible. Goodbye.